this morning on Today's Woman, your pre-baby body. Remember that? In a series we're calling I Want My Body Back, we're examining procedures that promise to get you back into pre-pregnancy shape. Today, consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman is here to tell us about some serious repair work. Right, Absolutely. Janice? Absolutely. Well, yesterday we showed you how some minimally invasive treatments could help you regain your old figure. Today, a more drastic look at what major surgery can do for your body, if diet and exercise just... But time just wasn't going to do it for Teresa Nicario, 44, mother of six, including triplets, whose former athlete's body was stretched beyond a workout repair. I'm really active. I was active before I had the triplets, and I'm obviously really active now with them. So why are you unhappy with your body? Um, I think once I had the triplets, um, I realized there were certain areas of my body that cannot be fixed just with exercise. My doctors basically told me, you're going to need to fix that surgically. It's not, not something you can fix yourself. So you're going to have what done tomorrow? I'm having a uh, tummy tuck, a breast lift some skin work done as well on my face to kind of smooth out all the spotting and things just from pregnancy. What Teresa was having done was a pretty serious makeover. She would be operated on by two doctors in one day. Well, we're going to do some body contouring. And um, we're going to start with liposuction of her flanks and hips, a tummy tuck, a breast augmentation with a lift. With Teresa, what we're going to do is limit the amount of sun damage she has on her face and the mask of pregnancy mm -hmm. through a procedure called laser resurfacing. We're then going to remove the excess fat that she has under her neck in a procedure called liposculpture. A lot of moms beat themselves up, they exercise, they diet, and it just isn't working for them. Sometimes the skin just gets stretched out. They have stretch marks, extra skin, um, and no matter how hard you work out, diet, exercise, there's a lot of women who are very fit and they have the lower abdominal pooch and stretch marks and saggy skin. What will Teresa's recovery be like? Most people are going to be sore for about three or four days. I would say by the end of a week she should be feeling pretty good and not requiring any supplemental pain medication. Uh, by two weeks she should do most of her normal daily activities. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. After some preparation, Teresa's first procedure of the face and neck was underway all under local anesthesia. That's perfect. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it hurt a lot? No. no. The procedure that followed was much more involved. This time she was under general anesthesia oh, for liposuction, a tummy tuck, and a breast lift. Everything turned out great. After surgery, Teresa was groggy and pretty uncomfortable. But a week later, she was on the road to recovery. How do you feel? I feel good. We checked in with Teresa after two weeks and were surprised to see how well she was doing. How was recovery for you? The first few days were pretty tough. I mean, you're really just down in bed and you're taking a lot of pain medication and things to get through. You really need somebody to take care of you. What was the most painful? The tummy tuck was probably the most major thing I had done. I still really do have pain from that. I hope you find anything. But after three months, the pain was gone, and Teresa was ready to show off her new body. Take a look at her before and after. I love it. I feel great. I'm so happy with the results. For one thing, a lot of people that don't know me can't believe I have six children. My body looks a lot more fit and youthful looking and um, that makes a big difference. I'm really concerned now much more so with my diet um, and sticking to eating healthy, um, definitely exercising more. Um, this has motivated me now that I see myself like this, I definitely don't want it to go away. And now what about your face? You have a jawline, the, the marks faded, much more youthful. Every day I look in the mirror, I can't believe it. And along with a younger looking body comes a whole new wardrobe. Definitely, I lost sizes. It's really fun now going out and buying clothes because um, they look great on me now. It's been very much life-changing for me. The cost for Teresa's mommy makeover? $18,000. Teresa now says she shares clothes with her teenage daughter, and Katie, her husband, can't stay away from her. So <laughs> She looks great, and I'm happy for her, but there are other ways to do this that don't involve surgery. It's just very difficult. And as you said, some for some people, all the exercising and dieting isn't going to necessarily change their figure. So if people don't want to go to this length, 
Because what do you recommend? Drastic. It is dr r r pretty drastic. Well, first of all, you have to give yourself a break, and you don't have to look like you did when you were a teenager. I mean, right. at a certain you do point see in your these life. images in magazines, and, and in some ways, they're simply unattainable, so you have to give yourself a break, That's right? That's right, and be with other people who are in the same boat and take exercise classes. And, and she did. She really did try, and you know, she had triplets, which is pretty extreme, but most people don't have triplets, and you just have to give yourself a break, and it takes time. All right, Janice Lieberman, Janice, thanks so much.